place. Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown. Come on. Piece of gum? Uh, no, no, thank you. Keep it together, man. I'm trying. Gum, orbit gum. Go, 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 No, no, taking the stairs. Orbit, go, go. Be here, now be here, now. It's all good, I'm gonna live forever. Oh, God, damn. Remember that voice, so it's your shift now. You know, you work for a really fucked up thing. This is a bad idea. The ads make it seem great, but it is fucking monstrous. Okay, so maybe not the best first day. Hey, I mean, in these rules that don't make any sense. I mean, I farted, which is already like, why? Just a weird detail. And it was like someone spritzed the room with cologne. Okay, well, it's supposed to be heaven. How is that heaven? Well, if you're stuck in an elevator with another guest. Then... And this is a small thing, maybe, but what the hell is going on with my hair? How does this even happen? I swear to God, it's like someone's fucking with me on purpose. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna take a look over that edge. Maybe I can see home. Wait, you realize if you jump into that thing, you don't go anywhere. You just disappear and there's nothing left to rescan. Maybe that's my tough luck, but it's how it's supposed to go oh, down. So you're super old school religious too. You agree with Neil Beagley? Who's Neil Beagley? He was a 16-year-old boy who died of a fucking UTI because he refused medical treatment for religious reasons. Do you agree with him? No, that's fucked up. Exactly. But I did die. Okay, what was the first thing I asked you to think of? I don't know, my ABCs? No, yourself. I think, therefore, I am. Hey, that I didn't die. That's consciousness. And that's what we're in the business of keeping going. All right, why do you think it feels weird and uh, unnatural here? Because your consciousness can think and compare with your memories. That's still you. You know, doing what you always did, thinking and being alive. And I'm sure there are plenty of people, including me for one, that are glad you're still here. You don't even know me. Not yet, but I'd like to. Okay, I get it. You know, this isn't perfect. And maybe you were led to believe it would be since the marketing mentions heaven like a dozen times. But it's kind of better, isn't it? I mean, maybe the imperfections make it more like life. Because life isn't perfect. But life is the most magical gift there is. Is this what you look like for real? You're not some old woman or dude or something? No, this is me. I mean, my avatar is makeup on, my hair's nice, and I'm not in sweatpants, so a little better than normal, but nothing else is tweaked. Good for you, then. You're really pretty. But I'm not allowed to know your name. No. I could get in trouble. It's a policy. <laughs> yeah, it's a policy. My name's Nora. I live in Ozone Park, Queens. My apartment's about as big as your bathroom, but I'm at work now, which is in Dumble, Brooklyn. It's a really cold day, and the bitch a couple desks down is taking forever to finish a tuna sandwich that I'm seriously considering chucking out the window. Nora Antony. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Can we go home now? <laughs> <laughs>